Hey, Divine Ones, come on in, come on in. <clears throat> come on in, come on in. Check on in this thing. Come on in, come on in. All my Divine Ones, baby, come on in. So I am going to be answering y'all's questions today about life coaching. I told y'all I was going to come back on. So as promised, I'm back on. I got about 20, 30 minutes. Um, so I'm going to be answering some of y'all's questions on this video about life coaching. Thank you so much, baby. Y'all come on in. Come on in. So uh, to those of you who are new to me or new to my brand or what I do, uh, I am Latoya Okia. I'm a master coach, a spiritual leader, and a business mentor, and I train and certify life coaches, <clears throat> and we create transformational leaders, transformational leaders for the kingdom of God. Thank y'all so much, baby. Thank y'all so much. My my hairstylist actually just hooked me up, baby. I actually just, me and my baby girl, we just got our hair did. She got her hair braided in some um, knotless some knotless plaid, some bohemian knotless plaid. So she got her braids with her curls and, and I got my sew in with my curls. Okay. Yes, baby. I do my own makeup, uh, for like my everyday, my everyday look. I, I took a makeup class. I had been playing around in my makeup for a long time. And then I finally invested. I finally, thank you so much. Thank y'all so much. Y'all gonna make me blush. <laughs> Look, y'all gonna make me do the black girl blush, baby. The black girl blush. You know the black girl blush. You can't see us blushing, but we tell you we blushing. Okay, y'all got me blushing up here. But um, yeah, I do. I do my own makeup, baby. I invested in that makeup class, and it 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 took it took my look to a whole nother level. So that's that's a that's a nugget right there for my queens. That's a nugget right there for the ladies, baby. It's time to reinvent yourself. It's time to take yourself to a whole nother level. And listen, we let's just be real. If you ain't got no MUA following you around everywhere you go, and you the one got to go in there and get in that mirror and make something shake, invest in a makeup class. Because that was one of the best things that I did for my brand. One of the best things that I did for my look. It, it take you to a whole nother level. One makeup class. Because you get in now, you don't even know. And then I ain't even know I was using the wrong um, foundation. Using the wrong color foundation for my skin, baby. But see, you get in the makeup class, they show you how to how to match your makeup with your face. Like, I mean, with your skin tone. Because, you know, I found out about undertones and, and I wasn't using my concealer right and all that stuff. So, that's a side note to my ladies. Y'all invest in a makeup class. So, I'm answering y'all questions today about life coaching. If you got any questions about life coaching, becoming a life coach starting your life coaching business. If you've been hearing about life coaching, sound kind of like you, I'm going to break it down a little bit. And then just as I'm explaining it, y'all have any questions, um, drop your questions in the, in the chat right here on Instagram. And then, um, to those of you that's on YouTube, cause I'm gonna put this replay on YouTube. So on YouTube, if you have a question that come up, put it down there in the comments and then I'll come back later to the YouTube video and respond to your comments or either I'll do a video. I'll do a video uh, answering it. But a life coach, so I train and certify life coaches. A life coach is a motivational friend. A life coach is an accountability partner. A life coach is um, like a personal support system. Life coaching is not clinical. What we do as life coaches is not clinical. It's not a clinical field. Uh, or a medical field or anything like that. Life coaching is personal support system, that motivational friend, that accountability partner, somebody that's going to help you set goals in whatever area of your life that they specialize in, that you go to them for. They help you. They what they don't. The first thing a life coach going to do is talk to you, see what you got going on so where they can understand your needs because you got to understand what people got going on. They assess where you are currently in that area of your life. And then where are you trying to get to? And then a life coach, they're going to ask you questions. That's the big thing with life coaching. We guide our clients to transformation. So as a life coach, you will be guiding your people to transformation. But you're going to be helping them see 
the answers that's already in them. This is why I love life coaching so much because you ain't you ain't got to have it all figured out. You ain't got to be a, a like a guru person or like a you know this huge expert type of person. You don't have to you don't have to be that. All you got to do is know how to ask the right questions and how to guide people to their transformation because when you you'll see and I've seen that when you ask people the right question, they find the answer themselves. <laughs> when I'm on sessions with people, or I'm doing, you know, uh, groups or, you know, like Q and A's or like we doing like real deep work while I'm working with my clients. I, I don't have to tell them what they need to do. I hardly ever have to just tell them Now Sometimes they'd be like, Toy, tell me what I need to do, what I need to do. You just tell me what to do and I do, <laughs> but I still ain't just going to tell them what they need to do. I'm going to listen. So as a life coach, you are a great listener. Great listener. I want y'all to put that in the comments. Say great listener. So I want y'all to hear me when I say this. If you the type of person that, oh, okay, I see a question. If you the type of person that, um, I got you, Jesse May Life. If you the type of person that people come to you for advice, they come to you to vent, they come to you to talk out their issues, to talk out their concerns. When they talk to you, they feel better. After talking to you, they feel like, Man, like they feel like they could just go conquer the world. Y'all ever had people talk to you and they be like, I feel so much better since I talked to you because it was just something about your energy. It was just something about the spirit that you brought and how you listen to them. They love how you listen to them. Y'all ever had somebody tell you, you a good listener. You a great listener. You don't interrupt them when they talking. You let people get their point out. Yes, yes. So that's what you serve as, as a life coach. You are a motivational friend. You're that listening ear. I have been that my whole life, my whole life. A lot of you, I talk about this in my free life coaching 101 masterclass, which is free. Click the link in my bio and go um, sign up for it on my website. It's a free life coaching 101 masterclass that I actually just redid this class and I put some new information in there and it's free. Uh, but I talk about this in the class, how you could be an undercover life coach. You could be undercover. You could be low-key. You low-key life coaching like I have been doing all my life. I'm low-key life coaching. Folks coming to me, they getting my good stuff. I'm giving my pearls. And I ain't even know. I could have been started my business. <laughs> I could have been started my business. I could have been created my LLC and had this thing popping off, baby. So... If that's you, you the go-to person. People come to you for advice. They come to you to vent. You Everybody gathering around or the co-workers or whoever, they come to your cubicle. They come to your work desk and they want to talk to you. They want to see, they, they want to they wanna vent to you. And then they just feel better after they talk to you. You ever go somewhere and you ain't even go in there for that and people end up telling you their whole life story. Somebody... So it, it just happens some kind of way. You don't even know. In, in your head, as you listening to them, you probably thinking, why in the world are these folks telling me all this? <laughs> why is they saying all this to me? Wait, what, what? They don't even know me. Like, why they, people just, like, they just be releasing, baby. They just be talking about all kind of stuff. That's what you serve as, as a life coach. You, you are, uh, you are a motivational friend. You're a listening ear. Now, as far as getting certified and starting an official coaching business, you just put a little structure to it. That's all. But you're going to keep doing the same thing that you've been doing. You're going to keep you're going to keep being just like your regular self because the gift in you is innate. It ain't something that I can I can give you or teach you or show you. If you call to be a life coach, that gift is already in you. You have that gift to where you draw people to you. Uh, in whatever way you do that, whatever that looks like for you, you draw people to you and then they just feel better after they connect with you. They feel motivated. Are you a motivator? Are you a motivator? Because that's a life coach too. A life coach is a personal motivator. They, they, they got that type of spirit. They got that type of energy. Well, when somebody have a conversation with them, they feel motivated to go do something. Have you ever had a conversation with somebody on your job or somewhere in passing and after they talked to you, they was like, man, I, I listen, after I had this conversation with you, 
I went and started my business. I started my LLC. I, I launched the, I launched this course. Like I, I got better in my marriage and it ain't just business. Now you could be a life coach on anything. It don't have to just be business, like business coaching. It could be other lanes of coaching. Should you start? Okay. Jesse May said, should you start the process of becoming a life coach? If you are still working on becoming the person you need to be to coach others, I have been wanting to start, but I feel like I need to improve. That's a really good question, Jesse May. And I get that a lot. And I, t I talk about that in the masterclass too, the free life coaching 101 masterclass. Um, and I also just talked about this on a video that I just released on my YouTube channel called five reasons why you should become a life coach. So y'all go watch that too, if you're interested in becoming a coach. Um, but I talk about, I talked about how you don't have to have it all put together. You don't have to have it all figured out. You just got to assess where you are right now. So remember how I just told y'all that a life coach, they have a, they have like a, you're going to have some type of like meet and greet or like discovery call or consult consultation or something like that in the beginning with your clients to where you have to understand their needs. So you have to listen to them. You have to figure out what they got going on and you got to see if you are the person that can help them and if y'all will be a good fit to work together. So you have to do that with yourself too. Before you go and get clients and you start working in your coaching business, you have to assess yourself. You have to self-evaluate yourself and you have to sit down with your journal and your blue e pen. Y'all know I love my journal and my blue e pen. So you sit down and you see where you are in your life. You, before you can help somebody else understand their needs, you have to first understand your needs. And what is it that you need? What is it that you have going on? And you may find that you need therapy. You may find that you need to go to counseling. There ain't nothing wrong with that. If you need to go and and um dig through some of that trauma from your past or uh some of that some of them unresolved issues between you and your family or you and your mama or you and your ex or you know just whatever that's still lingering. Uh you may have to do like some I just recently started looking into some stuff about shadow work. Um, which I didn't even realize that I, I wasn't calling it that, but that's what a lot of, that was a lot of what I had to do. I had to do a lot of what they call shadow work and y'all look into that too. So you have to just really sit down and self-evaluate, ask yourself questions, right? So what did I just say? With a life coach, a life coach knows how to ask the right questions to guide their clients to transformation. So really what you're going to go on to do with your clients, you have to first do that with yourself, Jesse May. You got to first do that with yourself. And you said, should you start the process of becoming a life coach if you are still working on becoming the person? Yes, you should start now, <laughs> but you have to start from where you are. You can't move ahead of where you are. So you can go as far as you want to go in life coaching if you commit to constantly working on yourself and constantly growing and constantly becoming. If you ever stop becoming, if you ever stop growing at that point, your coaching business stops. Yeah, that, that's, that's a nugget right there. <laughs> that's a nugget right there. You will go as far as you want to go. And this ain't just life coaching, but this is anything, but I'm just specifically talking about life coaches, but you going to go as far as you want to go, but you got to be willing to be doing the work on the back end on yourself. So as far as I am right now in my coaching business, I train and certify other coaches, but as far, and as far as I am right now in my coaching business, guess what I still have to do? I still have to do that work on the back end. I still have to dig into my trauma. I still have to go back and make, you know, make sure I don't have nothing lingering in my heart. I still have to go back and do that, do those journal prompts, do those journal activities, do that shadow work as they call it. I didn't even know that was a term for it, but I, that's what I had been doing. I still have to do that on the back end, but what would have happened to the divine ones and everybody that I'm, that I'm coaching and helping throughout this movement 
What would have happened to them had I said, I'm a hot mess. I, I just can't. I don't know where to start. I can't get started. I can't get started. So I had to say in the, in the very beginning, when I first started my business, I had to say, okay, Toya, you don't have it all figured out. You, you a hot mess, but you have done something. <laughs> you have started something. Look at what you have already done. Look at what you already know how to do. So that's what I would say, Jesse May. Start where you are and look at what you have already done. Because just like they say, I heard this one time and it stuck with me. They say even a broke clock is right twice a day. Even a broke clock is right twice a day. Okay? So you done did something right. You just got to sit down and go within, self-evaluate. And look at, I want you to think about what is your, and this is for anybody. I'm answering her question, but this is for anybody. I want y'all to relate this to yourself. You think about being a coach. You got to sit down and think about what is my come up story? Everybody got a come up story in some area of their life. What is yours? What is your come up story? Where did you come up? You came up somewhere. You made a transformation somewhere. The broke clock is right twice a day. So you got to go back and backtrack and figure out where you got it right. And then you start right there. You start right there where you have created transformation and where you have come up in some area of your life. And then you go and you look for people, you target people, you coach people, you speak to people that are stuck right there. They ain't figured it out yet. Whatever your come up story is, whatever your transformation is. No, you ain't this guru, this this master, you know, you ain't master splinter or nobody. <laughs> you ain't master splinter. But that don't mean you can't help somebody. You see what I'm saying? That don't mean you can't serve. We we can all serve, baby. So um, should you start the process of becoming a coach if you're still working on yourself? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because if I would have said I'm working on myself, y'all would have never saw me because I'm still working on myself. I have been wanting to start, but I feel like I need to improve. Um, you right. You do need to improve, but don't let that stop you from starting your, your business. Don't let that stop you from stepping into purpose. Don't let that stop you from, um, from launching your coaching business because as you, as you, and I learned this from a lot of my mentors. One of my mentors is Tony Gaskins. I learned some of this. I learned a lot of this from him um, because I, in the beginning, I took his certification, which I didn't even realize years before that I had already been coaching. I was already coaching. And so you're going to see like, as you, whether you take my certification or somebody else's or you get training or you don't, um, you, this is, this is just who you are. You're going to be, you're going to be getting paid to be just who you are. You ain't, this ain't a job. Like you signing up for a job or something that, that ain't what we doing. You getting paid just to be who you are. And the, the more you improve who you are, the better you get paid. The more you improve who you are, the more you earn. And it ain't about the money, but I'm just telling you, if you're going to get in business, you, you getting in business to be in business. You ain't getting in business for a hobby. <laughs> you getting in business to, to make a in, to earn some income and to make an impact. And so, um, that's what is, that's what is centered around. Y'all know I'm deep. I'm deep. <laughs> so one question might take me 20 minutes cause I'm so, I'm deep. <laughs> I dissect that thing. I break that thing down. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. What about woman empowerment? Um, put your question again, singing fanatic. I didn't understand what you were saying about women empowerment. What are you asking about it uh, exactly? Yes, that's good, Melanie Rankin. Would I want to work with me? Am I healed? That's good. That's good. Think about that too. That's a good journal prompt. When you're getting ready to start your coaching business, ask yourself that. Would I want to work with me? Am I healed? Because if you're not healed, it's going to come out in how you do business. 
is going to come out in how you run your sessions. You'll get mad at people. You get mad and you, and it's like, why, why are you getting mad with them? They booked with you. They not the enemy, but if you haven't dealt with that internal enemy within, you'll take it out on people. You'll take it out on whoever is there. And that includes your clients, your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, your mama, your daddy. So you, you got to heal, baby. You got to heal. Now you do have to get, you do have to get to a place where you are whole enough. Okay. You got to get to a place where you are whole enough to be able to help somebody else. Because even though I still had a lot of stuff going on, had a lot of stuff I had to work through, I had made some progress. Okay. I had made some progress and then I saw a lane that I could start helping people. And then in the beginning, don't be all in your head about business, business, business. I gotta, da, 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 I gotta set this up in my business. I gotta set this up. I see a lot of coaches, they procrastinate, they hesitate, they never launch, or they, you know, they never really get out there because it's like, well, I don't know how to run no business. I don't, I didn't either. <laughs> I didn't either. And then nobody in my family ever run no business. So ain't nobody never tell. I, I ain't never got that type of training or, you know, I, I, I ain't come from that. But I'm going to tell you what I did. I just started from where I was and I thought about, Toya, what do you know how to do? What do you know how to do? I knew I knew about God because I had been in church since I was nine years old. Was Well, before that, but I was speaking ever since I was nine years old in church, singing in the choir. I knew about God. I loved Jesus. I loved to pray. And I would get online and I would just pray for people. I would just pray for people. I'd be like, put y'all prayer requests, <laughs> put y'all prayer requests in the comments, baby. I, and I would just pray for people. I would just, I, I, I emptied myself of me. This is a big thing with coaching. Coaching is about serving. So if you in it for you, life coaching ain't the field for you. Okay. Now you going to be blessed, but you going to get blessed by serving other people. You going to get blessed by helping other people. So, but don't be in your head about the business thing, you know, the whole business formation stuff in the beginning. A lot of times we be stressing a lot about that and we don't even have people yet. We don't even have no clients yet. We don't, we're not earning no income yet. We don't, nobody knows who we are and we still on step one and we stressing about the whole business formation side of this. Listen, I did all of that will come in its time. And you get a lot of that in my training and in my academy. I, I show you that. And I've also partnered with some of my other divine ones to be able to help you lay. We have a course inside of my academy called laying the foundation for your coaching business uh, with my, my eagle friend and my financial strategist, Keisha West. Uh, so that's a course that's in the academy for y'all. And that's aside from the, um, the certification. So that's just a course on the side that you can take for right now just and we also I also have the starter kit the life coaching starter kit where i give you a quick breakdown of how you can get started right now and then you can get the training now now is a good time to invest in my training because i'm running a, a promotion on it for 80 percent off and you can use the coupon code serve but you can get the training for when you get to that place where you really ready to dig in and get the get the training and get the tools that you need to go all the way in your business but in the beginning you just need to get started and you just need to get started by how what do i know what's my come up story and how can i help somebody how can i how can i help somebody how can i get out there to help somebody and while i'm helping them i'm going to be helping myself by sitting down doing the work healing and if you are not in a place where you can do that by yourself if you can't do that by yourself, then you, you have a responsibility. You have an obligation to your purpose to go seek help. Go get a therapist. Go get a coach yourself. Go get a mentor yourself. Go talk to your pastor. You, you can't afford to stay in that broken state because it's, it's other people's lives at stake. Other people's lives are connected to your destiny, to your calling. So you can't afford to just sit there and be broken. Y'all get what I'm saying? You got to get up and make a move, baby. Okay, let me look for some of y'all other questions. I got a few more minutes. 
Success Queen says, I've been saying that to myself, thinking I couldn't help others because I'm still working on me. Yes, this going to free somebody today, baby. Oh, uh, so your divine glow up is crazy. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I'm going to be doing a training slash course. I don't know how I'm going to package it yet. But I'm going to be doing some type of program uh, for women. For women. And it's going to be how to glow up, baby. How to glow up in the kingdom of God. Like, how to glow up. It's a lot of content out there about how to glow up and how to be that woman and how to be that girl. But I'm talking about how to be that woman in the kingdom, okay? How to be that woman in the kingdom of God. How to glow up for real, inside and outside. And we're going to start with that spiritual work first. But I'm developing it. Um, and it's going to, I'm going to launch that real soon. And it's going to be like a hybrid thing. We're going to do virtual work and we're going to do in-person work too. It's going to be, it's going to be some premium level one, like intimate. We won't be like one-on-one, -on -one, but we're going to be, it's going to be an intimate setting with just me and a small group of women. Cause I, I really want to be able to help women. And again, I'm not the guru. <laughs> I'm not the guru, but I can, but I can teach you from what I have learned, from, from what I have accomplished. I'm still working on myself. I'm still working on my body. I'm still working on my soul. It's still a lot of gaps that I got to fill up or I got to, you know, allow God to fill up. But does that mean that I can't help people because I'm still working on me? No, I'm going to take what I do know and I'm going to take where I have came up. And as I grow, like my, like I learned from my mentors, as I grow, I'm going to teach. How do I not get distracted because I have three little girls that all I can be is mommy 24 seven. Oh my goodness. That's such a good question. That's me right there, baby. Y'all know I got Kari. I got Tata. I got TJ. <laughs> and so, um, singing fanatic. I'm going to tell you, baby, I'm going to tell you how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Like you got to really sit down. Remember I was just saying you got to you got to do a self assessment, you got to do a self evaluation, and you got to really sit down with yourself and say, you know, how bad do I want this? Like do I you got to under you got to understand your own needs. Remember I was just saying that. For you can under help them understand what they need, you have to first understand your needs. So you got to make sure that this is the lane that God has called me to. And this is, this is my purpose right here. This is my purpose right here. And this is what I really want to do. And I want to do this because. So identify your why. What is your because? The fact that you have three little girls is a strong reason why you should do this. It's a strong reason why you should push yourself to do this. Because I had to realize with me and my children, wasn't nobody coming to save me and wasn't nobody coming to save them. And if mama would have kept sitting here waiting for somebody to come save us, we'd have went under. So mama had to make some moves. So you mama, mama got to, mama have to put on her big girl panties. And if you a man, you got to put on your big boy underwear. And mama or daddy got to make some moves. So the reason why I said you got to assess how bad do you want this is because I had to figure out, Toya, is this what God done call you to do? This is what you really want to do because it going to come with challenges. It going to come with setbacks. It going to you you're not going to win every day. You're not going to win every month in this. So anything you commit to that is worthwhile is going to come with challenges. It's going to have some challenges. It's going it, it got to that's what that's what helps you to become. That's what helps you to push through. Um but you got to start you got to start changing your mindset, baby to see your challenges as opportunities. I want you to start seeing the fact that you have three little girls. I want you to start using that as this is, this is an opportunity for me. See, I had to stop seeing myself. I had to make an identity shift and I had to make a mindset shift. And I had to stop seeing myself as the little broke down single mama that got three babies that need me all the time. And I can't never do nothing. I had, I had to make an identity shift. Switch, uh, uh, switch. I had to shift inwardly and I had to change my self image. I want you to write that down, baby. 
because you got to work on changing your self image and you got to start looking at certain situations in your life as opportunities, not obstacles. This, this is, this is only an obstacle. Them three babies that say, mama, 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 mama. That's only an obstacle. If you see it as an obstacle, but you got to see it as an opportunity. See, I switched it in my mind and you could do this. You could trick your mind. I trick mine all the time. <laughs> you can trick your mind. I trick mine all the time. So I switched my mind, meaning I just started telling myself another story and I started seeing it as I got three kids. They call me all the time. They need me. Okay. How can I get around this? How can I get around this? What can I do? Then I said, then my, when you do this, when you ask yourself that you turn your mind on to the possibilities. Now you start seeing what's possible for you instead of what's holding you back. So I stopped seeing it as something that was holding me back. And I saw it as, okay, when they go to sleep, I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Do you understand me? They go to sleep. They take a nap during the day. And I was, you strategically set that thing up. Go take them to the park. R let them run in the sun till they get good and <laughs> till they get good and tired. Take them somewhere where they be saying, woo, mama, we having a good time. Yeah. But in your mind, you saying, mm-hmm. And you finna be knocked out. You finna be knocked out. So, but if you don't shift your mind to, to say, okay, I got these three babies. This is why I need to go harder. This is why I need to, to uh, look for a way out of this. I know it's got to be a way. See, when you start looking for something, you're going to find it. You're going to find it. Y'all know that's true. You know, you get, you get them for phone, you go to looking for something. <laughs> you go to looking for something. It, it might not even been there, but just because you're looking for it and you done fixed your mind on this thing, you ain't going to stop till you find it. And it going to show up just like that. So... Same way. Use that same uh, trick. Use that same hack when it comes to being successful. When it comes to your business, you got to start looking for an opportunity. You say, I know, baby. Just like how you got that, got that man phone or got that woman phone. You like, I know it's a text message in him somewhere. And that's how, <laughs> that's how you got to be with your, with your business, with your, with your legacy, with your destiny. You got to say, I right, I know it's an opportunity in this somewhere. I know it's a way out of this somewhere, somewhere. And when you start thinking like that, your mind start coming up with stuff and you start seeing them little windows of opportunity that you can, you can make something happen. It might not be a whole lot, but let's just say like with Kari. Um, okay. Let's just like say like right now, I'll use myself for example right now. Uh, I have my daughter with me because uh, me and her went to our hair appointment today but the boys are at the um, program that they go to. And so because I had turned my mind on to the opportunities, I started seeing, I, I started seeing the club. I saw, I ain't gonna say the name of the club just for, um, you know, safety reasons and stuff. But I started, I started seeing this particular club that they go to and this program that they go to now that came up on my radar. I saw that and I was like, oh, well, let me enroll them in that. Let me, let me get them in now. Cause they, and then I'm thinking about, okay, while they there, I could be doing this. I could be taking care of this. I could be taking care of that. Um, but now this was when I got to the place where I could, I could invest in, in help and stuff. But in the beginning when I couldn't invest in no help, baby, it was when they took a nap. And if I couldn't get them to take a nap, I went and did them, went and did something with them where they got good and tired and they had no choice but to go to sleep. And when they went to sleep, I went to work. I was on YouTube, YouTube University. I'm watching this, watching that, trying to figure this out, figure that out. And this is why I was led to create my academy and make this training for coaches because I thought about how I had to go grab some information right here and then grab some information over there. Then I'm listening to this person, listening to that person, doing this, doing that. And then I eventually figured it out. <laughs> I, God made a way and I figured it out, but it was a lot of trial and error. It was a lot of headache. It was a lot of mistakes. And I said, I don't, I don't want other people to go through that. I want to put everything that they need in one place, all the information they need to help them get started they can get it right here. They can get the training. They can get the certification. So all of it is in one place. 
but just start shifting your mind saying my three kids is the reason why I need to do this. This is why I need to push myself to do this. And how do I not get distracted? You have to start seeing yourself. Remember I said change your self image. You have to start seeing yourself as a person that doesn't get distracted. <laughs> and when I, when I, the more I learned about this self image thing, and I'm actually teaching my children this now, this I homeschool my children. And this is part of our curriculum, what I'm working on with them right now, because that's another thing. As I learn, I also teach them. So I teach my divine ones and I teach them. And what I'm learning and what I've seen about self image, the kids need to be taught this stuff in school. I'm telling y'all, they need to be taught this stuff because I'm like, man, if I would have figured this out 20 years ago, you know where I'd be at now. <laughs> but like most of the things that happen in your life and the reason why you are the way you are is because of the way you internally see yourself. You have an internal mirror. You have a certain way mentally that you see yourself. So um, to the person that said, how do I not get distracted? Singing fanatic. You see yourself as a person that's easily distracted. So I'm going to tell you what I want you to do. All of the traits about yourself that you don't like and that you know is not going to serve you in the next season of your life as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a successful life coach. I want you to write down all those negative traits about yourself. I'm easily distracted. I'm not passionate. I'm unmotivated. I'm undedicated. I'm not consistent. List out all the negative traits about yourself. All the like low, low quality traits about yourself. And then when you look at that, you know, you know what? I just heard the Holy Spirit say, do this too. When you do that, attach an old picture of yourself to that. Attach an old picture of yourself today or a picture of what you currently look like today. Attach that picture to yourself. I'm going to have my children do this too. Y'all have your children do this too. So all the negative qualities about yourself that you don't like. Low energy qualities. And then attach your picture, old picture or a current picture of you when you, as you, as you are with these qualities. And then... On another page, I want you to write down, you take all them negative qualities and you flip them. You flip them. So where you said that you was easily a person that's easily distracted on the other page, I want you to say focused. I'm focused. Come on now. I'm focused. And then I want you to say, I'm, I'm consistent. I'm focused. I'm consistent. I get things done. If on the old page, you put, I'm a procrastinator on the new page, you put, I take action quickly. I make decisions quickly. I don't hesitate. I don't procrastinate. I, I, I make moves quickly and I learn from each move that I make. So flip it from negative to positive. And then as you start becoming this person, as you start moving like this person, you know what? Get dressed up. And look and look real good. Look real good. Go get your hair did, or uh, or do your makeup, or get your makeup done, or uh, um, like go back to what I said. Now, a broke clock is right twice a day. So even when I was broke, busted, and disgusted, I still had my little moments where I call myself, "Oh, I'm feeling myself." You know, I'm feeling myself. Whether that was when my income tax check hit, or when I got a school check, or whatever, baby. I'm like, "Ooh, I'm feeling myself." And you know how you just be feeling yourself. You can get yourself glammed up. You feel good. That's when I want you to take that picture. Take the new picture. When you feeling good, you, you feeling yourself. Take the new picture. And get in, the, get in the spirit of the new qualities. I want you to start feeling like a consistent person. Start feeling like a person that's motivated, that's focused. What does that look like for you? Take a new picture and attach it to the new qualities. Because this is the identity shift that you're going to make. This is the new mindset. This is what I did. And I'm constantly doing this. Because every level you get to, now it's like, okay, what you going to do next? Okay, who you going to become now? Okay, what you going to do now? Where you going to travel to now? Where you going to live now? What you going to buy now? Who you going to become now? And so you go from, you, that's just the way God intended for us to live our life. We go throughout our life leveling up from one level to the next. 
and I came to you after his certification. I love it over here. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Miss uh, Lexis. I'm finna get ready to wrap it up, y'all. I'm sorry, I can't just answer a question. I'm so deep. I gotta being <laughs> so deep so I can get through more of the questions. Hey, Toya, have you ever thought about letting the life coaching, letting the life coaching already have took your course and are monthly members to life coach people under you? Um, I don't, I don't really, I'm trying to understand your question, baby. Let me see. About thinking about letting the life coaching. You say you already took the course. And you're a monthly member to the life coaching. I think you're saying like if I'm if I'm gonna create something else for life coaches. If if so, yes, I am. I am. I am gonna create like a mastermind. Um, because as y'all can see, I got a lot of knowledge on this, and I could talk about <laughs> I could talk about this, and I could teach on this, and I love this. Like people be seeing that I'm, you know, of course I'm a spiritual leader. I've been in ministry since I was nine years old. I love the Lord and I love talking about the Lord, but I got to start making more content about the business side of me because I have done a lot business wise that, you know, I want to be able to help other people do to break through some of them, them old mindsets and clear out some of them cobwebs that's in our mind. You know, sometimes when you just sat in religion so long, you got all kind of cobwebs in your mind, spider webs and stuff. So you got to clear that stuff out, baby, so you can walk in the abundance of God. And just being a religious person wasn't getting it for me. It wasn't getting it for me. Because I was, I had a lot of religion, but it's like, why can't I pay my bills? Come on now, somebody know what I'm talking about. Why I got to keep going over here with my grandma, asking my grandma for $20 to put some gas in my truck. But I'm in church every week. Like, I'm, I'm you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm faithful to the church. Like, I'm, I'm highly religious. But I'm struggling. I'm hurting. I'm bro I, I can't buy my baby a birthday cake. Like, what's going on? So this this what I'm talking to y'all about. A lot of this right here, this is the work that have to be done. So if that's what you were saying, baby, I'm definitely going to create something. I'm going to create something for that. Do all your clients believe in the Lord? And if not, is it hard to speak to them without mentioning the Lord? That's a great question. <laughs> Uh, I do have clients that do not believe. I do have clients that, um, are not believers because, um, you know, on the business side, it is a, it is a life coach certification and, you know, it is a, it is a training program to help you become a life coach. Now I do, uh, you know, like I give a disclaimer that I'm a believer and that my program is based on biblical principles. It is it, because anything that's successful, hey, that's where it came from. <laughs> if it works and it's successful, it's because it's a principle, it's a truth that came from the word of God. So I just let that be known that my program is based on biblical principles. This is a kingdom-based life coaching program. Um, but I do still have clients. I have people that watch me every day that ain't necessarily kingdom that are not believers are not, you know, don't, I don't, I don't listen. I I come on and I speak what God told me to speak. I come on and I talk about what he told me to talk about. And whenever he uh, tells me to address that or say anything about that, I do, but I just love people. I just love people. I don't comfort people on what they do or what they got going on. Now, if they feel like I'm coming for them or anybody ever felt like that, I promise I ain't coming for you, baby. I'm just saying what God told me to say. And if it convicts you and it makes you feel a way, you know what I'm saying? Like you, <laughs> like that video I did, you got to take that up with God because I'm just doing what he told me to do. Um, but all of my clients do not believe in the Lord. Is it hard to speak to them without mentioning the Lord? Um, now for me, for where I am, I always mention the Lord. <laughs> I always mention the Lord and I'm going to tell you why I do that. And one of the reasons, biggest reasons why I do that, because I, the, by the power and the grace of God, God created a lane for me. I created my own lane. Me and God created our own lane. 
So when you go and you create your own lane, I I now know that because I have created my own lane and, and I did that by the power of God, I don't have to go in anybody else's um, circle. I don't have to go in anybody else's program. I don't have to step on anybody else's stage. So I don't have to, I don't have to tap dance to their tune. You get what I'm saying? I don't have to, oh, I can't say the Lord, you know? Now I'm not saying that God won't bring me into, um, you know, Wall Street or corporate America or corporate rooms to where, you know, I, I, I have to get in a room where I have to, you know, just be business. But I believe that that's why he's, he, he also made me a businesswoman as well, because that that very well could be the Lord's plan that I go into the corporate rooms and I speak to corporate executives and um people like that and I and I'll do that I'll do that but just for where I am right now currently I I have my own lane so I just I I always talk about the Lord because ain't nobody gonna stop me <laughs> ain't nobody gonna stop me but I do have that wisdom though God gave me the wisdom and discernment to be able to be all things to all people. So I can go key, key, key with the devil and he won't even know that I'm kingdom in now, baby. And that just, I don't have to say the Lord. I could, but just my energy alone, my presence alone going to gonna make some of these demons mad in him. My presence alone going to deliver some of y'all. You don't even know it, but you being delivered right now just by me being in this room. <laughs> yes. You was talking about there are different types of coaching, not just business. I asked, what about women empowerment? Okay, thank you for putting that in there again. What about women empowerment for a life coach? Yes, that is a lane. Women empowerment is a lane. Um, now I'm also say too to don't don't y'all be don't y'all forget about the men too now because it's a lot of men. I have seen this. Not saying now uh, for singing fanatic. If women empowerment, if that's your specific lane that you want to stick to, let me say that real quick. That's perfectly fine. You can do women empowerment, okay? But I'm on the other side of that, I'm also saying that I started as a as the whole women empowerment thing um, because I'm like, okay, I'm a woman. I can just do women. I can just speak to women. But then the Lord shifted my mindset and I started changing my messaging. I remember when God spoke to me, he told me, he said, you need to start changing your message it was a pull in my spirit to start changing my messages to tailor it for men and women and so you'll notice when you hear me talking in my videos and i make an example i always give you both sides don't i i always say man and i say woman unless i'm doing a particular video where i'm talking to women now like with my vip days and stuff i didn't do that for men because that's more intimate and that's more, you know, like touchy feely. I'm in the room with you, and um, yeah, we just that we just didn't do that for the men. But that was that was only women. But yes, women empowerment is a movement, and you can coach there. Um, but just make sure, make sure when you're doing the women empowerment that as women we really have to look at and check the way we view men and how we see men because the enemy is crafty. And he will take this women empowerment and he will use it to empower women to, and I'm not telling anybody how to coach, but I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm kingdom. So I got to tell you the enemy's agenda. He'll try to take this women empowerment to, um, you know, feel like you just push the man to the side and no, the man has a place he serves. He serves a place you serve. He serves a role. You serve a role. And the kingdom of God is a movement for women and men. So I just say that I just, I just, I just would hit on that little point right there that, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't empower women to be bitter towards men. Um, like as women, we, not every woman, I'm just speaking for a few women, some women, um, we have to just start changing our view and I'm going to work with women on that too. In the programs that I start releasing, um, uh, on how to glow up. And how to, you know, really become that woman. You have to, you have to deal with your trauma. You have to deal with, you know, if you suffered from things at the hands of men, uh, you have to really address that. You have to deal with that because that will come and haunt you in your purpose. You, you don't know who is going to come and be a part of your business and be a part of your movement. So we don't want to just close ourselves off and say just one, you know, one gender. 
Have you ever thought about letting people that have already took your course and are monthly never to to life coach under you? Um, Tanara, Tanara Callahan, um, I want you to email me too. Email me too, baby, so I can make sure. I want to make sure I truly understand um, what you're saying because I think I just keep misunderstanding you. And I got I, I actually got to go ahead to pick up the boys now. My time up right now, y'all. <laughs> but I got to go ahead and pick up the boys. Okay, y'all hang on one second. Maybe you're saying about people life coaching under me. Um, I, I, I am going to eventually launch something where people that I have trained and I've certified, um, maybe like create like some type of site or some type of, um, set up to where the, the coaches that some of the coaches that I have trained, they can apply to be able to, to coach under me. I think that's what you're saying that they can, um, like if I'm not doing one-on-ones, I have like a select group of coaches that I can send people to. I can send I can send clients to them. I am thinking about setting up something like that. I'm a home care nurse and I want to turn this around, Toya. What would you recommend? A home care nurse. What do you what do you mean when you say you want to turn it around? took your course and all my members coach under you okay yeah that's what you were saying tonara uh yes i have thought about that and me and my team are working we're working to develop something for my coaches um because i have a lot of people i have a i have a a, a lot a big audience i have a lot of people that want coaching and i may not be available to coach them but if you can work with somebody that i have trained and that i have coached myself and, and uh, you know, like personally approve them and stamp them. I'm definitely going to set that up to where we can help as many people as we can. All right. So I'm going to let y'all go for right now. I'm going to come back on YouTube um, on another on another day, another time. Thank you, Keisha. I'm going to come back on YouTube and do a do a live when I have more time. Um and let me say this too real quick before I let y'all go. Life coaching, I've been doing my research. Me and my team, we've been digging deep. We've been doing some research. Listen, 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 listen. It's a whole lot of abundance out here. You better set, listen, you better set yourself up and you better make sure that you getting you a piece of this pie. Do you understand me? It's a lot of abundance out here. And listen, the self development the self improvement industry the set which life coaching technically falls under that industry the self development self improvement courses life coaching business is expected to make to make billions and billions and billions of dollars over the next few years if you don't have a business if you are not getting certified if you need to begin training now because they telling us that people are looking online, people are looking to get coached, people are looking to invest in courses, people figuring out that 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 old way ain't it and people looking for for the new thing, they looking for the new way and this is scripture. God says, "Behold, I will do a new thing. I will make a way in your wilderness." God is doing a new thing. He doing a new thing. And all this abundance out here, and you mean to tell me you ain't gonna get none? Because you you feel like you ain't you ain't got it together, and you you better get out here and start helping folks. You better start from where you are, and you better start helping people, and then you better get you some training on the back end, and be learning. And as you learn, you go do. That's what I did. I went I went when I got off them videos with 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 um divine ones. I got out that video. I went right on into me, into me a sermon. I went right on into me some training. I went right on, I love right on into my courses. Took them course. I still do that. I'm still like that. And it's like, what, what, what y'all thought this is? You don't, you don't wait until 
you get to where you want to be to get started. You don't wait until you become the person to get started. Doing doing the work, getting on the path, starting where you are, that's what helps you become that woman. That's what helps you become that man. You just you just help people from where you are. If you know how to count to five, I want y'all to <laughs> I want y'all to relate it. Think about it just like this. It's just this simple. It just is simple. We make it hard. If you know how to count to five, then it's a whole market of people that don't know how to count to five yet. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's somebody you you thinking you you thinking you a failure and you thinking that you ain't you ain't hitting on nothing because you can't count to one hundred. <laughs> you can't count to one hundred when this is what you need to do. You can count to five. You need to go help everybody who can't count to five yet. Go help everybody that can help them count to five. Create a program for them to help. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm breaking it down like that to help you understand how simple it is. Create a program. Start creating content around one, two, three, four, five. Two, you know, two come out the one. And then, you know, three come out the two. And then the people that's listening to you, they like, okay, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay, and then this is what you're doing. As you're teaching them how to count to five, you on the back end, learning what come out the five. You, when you get off the camera, when you get out, you on the back end. Okay, what come out the five? Let me see. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you come back on after you done got that thing and you done put it into practice and you got some fruit. You come back on. You say, okay, y'all. All right, I got a new... <laughs> I got a new program for y'all, baby. We got it. Okay, now this new program is called Count from How You Go From 5 to 10. How You Go From 5 to 10. Now you teach them how to come on now. And then you showing up to them. They looking at you as you a leader. You the authority because you know how to do something that they don't know how to do. Meanwhile, you you bite that learning. You getting off the camera learning. You growing, you studying, you reading, you praying, you emptying yourself out, you being poor in spirit. You saying, Lord, I don't know what I'm doing, but if you teach me, if you show me the way, I promise you, Lord, I'll go and lead your sheep. I promise you, I'll go and serve your people. That's the blueprint right there in a nutshell. <laughs> I love y'all so much, baby. Go, go to LatoyaOkeelAcademy.com and invest in the life coach certification the advanced it's only on the advanced training when you go when you get to the um checkout screen put the coupon code serve s-e-r-v-e the coupon code serve put that in it's gonna take 80 percent off for the value that i have in this course right now market value is over ten thousand dollars for this course and that ain't no fluff i'm telling y'all the real because i didn't invest it thousands of dollars in the stuff and they ain't have in now what I got in my course. Do you understand me? So I know what it's worth. It's worth it, but that ain't what I charge for it. That ain't what I charge for it. Come on now. So even from the price that's, that it was originally, you get an additional 80% off an additional 80% off because I got, a, I got a heart for the underdog, baby. I'm a, I don't care. Listen, I'm a always speak to the underdog. Cause that's me. That's me. And I always think of myself that on the inside. I always think of myself as the underdog because it keep me humble. It keep me grinding. It keep me working. It keep me poor in spirit. I don't never consider myself to be an arrived. I ain't arrived yet. I'm still becoming. But what I have learned, I gladly teach it and I gladly serve it. And when you do that, you will forever be blessed. When you come into Latoya O'Keele Academy, that's what we teaching you how to do. We teaching you how to take what you got and how to serve, how to give back, and how to work on yourself, how to develop, how to do the mindset work on the back end so that you can keep helping people and you can keep growing, okay? I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Go to the link in my bio. Click the link below in the description if you're watching from YouTube, LatoyaOkeelAcademy.com. Now is the time to get trained and get certified. Billions and billions and billions of dollars are projected to be made over the next couple of years and you need to get training now if you ever heard the myth i'm gonna do another video where i'm where i'm gonna be debunking all the myths so if you ever heard a myth that say they were saying everybody being a life coach now you can't be no life coach child they get on my nerve with their life coach and stuff everybody trying to be a life coach you ain't been no life coach 
Don't listen to the devil. <laughs> Do you understand me? Don't listen to the devil. Cause I'm telling y'all, if you don't set yours up and you don't get it, who you think going to get it? Who you think going to get it? <laughs> Come on now. If you don't get it, they going to get it. Somebody else going to get it. So don't, don't be, don't be letting people come on now. Don't, I just saw a divine one came through. Glory be to God. One of y'all, I, uh, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to say your first name, baby. I ain't going to say your last name. Cause look, we might've had to sneak off and go do that thing. But, uh, oh, Sonia, oh, Sonia. Thank you so much, Sonia. Just slid in that thing like Eddie Kane Jr. And I want to congratulate you, baby. Cause you just took an important step. You took an important step, baby. To get into that next level. You took an important step to get your training, get your certification. And I'm telling y'all, everything I have sown into my business, into my self-development, I got it all by plus more. It's still coming by. And that's why I still sow. I still serve. Glory be to God. So as you grow, you teach. There's a lane for what you do. And there is a marketplace the, the marketplace is waiting for what you have, but you got to believe that. I teach you how to believe that. That activity that I just broke down and shared with you, that this is the type of stuff I teach all the time. This is the type of stuff I talk about all the time. This is the inner work that I had to do in order to, 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 do, to be who I am now. Doing what I'm doing now is not hard. And you're going to see that what you're what you going to do is not hard. The hardest part is believing that you can do it. The hardest part is believing that somebody will pay you for your intellectual property. The hardest part is believing that somebody will pay you whatever you charge. They will pay you to get on the phone and talk to you. They will pay you to get on Zoom and talk to you. Yes, they will. But you got to believe that and you got to tell yourself that. And it don't matter where you came from, baby. Y'all hear how I talk. You know why I, I came from a little down south, uh, little town. <laughs> Southwest Georgia, Blakely, Georgia. Look it up. Look it up, baby. Blakely, Georgia. Come on now. We, they, they built a little McDonald's there and we thought we were doing it because we had a McDonald's. I remember when they first put the McDonald's in there. We thought we were doing it, baby, because we had a Mac. <laughs> we had a McDonald's. We had, listen, listen, little town in Southwest Georgia. But with God, all things are possible when you use your gift. Okay. So use your gift, baby. All you got to do is be yourself. Be yourself. That's what life coaching is about. It's about being yourself and then you working on yourself so that you can be the best version, the best version of yourself. And then you helping other people be the best version of they self. So it's a win-win for the kingdom. You getting better and you helping other people to get better. Okay. I love y'all so much and I'm praying for you. I'll check in with y'all later.